Hi friends, welcome to Bella Stitchery. Were you looking for a video that will show you how to make a really easy card, but also give you a chance to win free stuff? Welcome, you have come to the right place. Today I am having another giveaway opportunity, and I will tell you all about the prizes and how to enter at the end of the video. But for now, I wanted to show you kind of a basic, and I mean basic, level stamping, embossing, inking technique on a card. So this is a fun, happy, colorful greeting. And you get to use all kinds of colors. Win, win, win. Let me show you how I did it. The first thing I did was I cut down a standard eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock in half this way. So each is about five and a half in, hence 11. Fold it in half, card done, boom. Next, I cut a mat of black, you know, to make it just pop a little bit, and then a mat of white, which is what we're gonna decorate for the actual card. Now for the card, I have picked some of my favorite Distress inks. Distress Oxide, they are amazing. You could use other brands. Why? I don't know. The colors here are amazing and fun to work with, but any ink will do. I also just used a piece of cardstock for masking purposes. You can use masking painter's tape. I've seen people do that. I feel like sometimes it lifts my paper a little bit when it, I take it off. So I like just holding a piece of paper. And you're just gonna find where you want your line here, about like so. Take your dauber of choice, I am kind of obsessed with these contouring brushes. I have a video that reviews these if you're interested, but they're really fun and easy to use. Sorry, I have a glue string. Okay, for this project, I've used picked raspberry, seedless preserves, peacock feathers, twisted citron, and black soot. All of these links will be available in my description. So if you want any of the things here, check that out to order. Um, and then it's really easy. You don't really even have to have a plan. <laughs> oh, I feel like that should be the name of my memoir. You don't really have to have a plan. Just, you know, just go for it. It's fine. Um, then you're just going to put your pigments to the depth and into the card as much as you'd like. Ooh, look at it. It's already cool. Okay. I'm going to get some purple. Just going to blend some color. The Seedless Grapes is really a pretty color. Just blending. You could just do all pinks and purples too. Whatever colors make you happy. Okay, I'm gonna get some green teal color here. This peacock feathers is really pretty too. They're all so pretty. What's your favorite? What's your favorite Distress Oxide color? I know you have one. If you're watching this video, I'm betting you have used these inks before because who hasn't? Okay, put some green here. This green's pretty too. Again, you could go as dark or as light as you'd like. They all blend together in a very happy Bob Ross type way. Super cute. You can even go, look, just go all the way through if you want to. Put a little green up there too. However you wanna do your blending, you're the boss of your blending. Okay, then you already have a gorgeous, I love this. That's always my favorite part of masking something off, is a super sharp line because that's nothing I could do in real life. Wipe your craft mat. If you're using a craft mat, I do recommend them. They're nice for inking and glue and everything. It's such a messy, messy world we live in as crafters, isn't it? Okay, so then you can put that aside. Now, I'm going to stamp my sentiment on the top here using a stamp platform. Stamp platforms are another one of those things that you don't maybe realize how nice they are until you get one. And then you're like, how did I ever survive without it before? I have selected a stamp from this Kelly Creates line. It's actually a stamp that's supposed to help you do the nice little handwriting tracing. That's a cool thing too. Haven't got into that yet. Next, that's next. But I did like the kind of script style for stamping, so I got that. The nice thing about the stamp platform, comes with little magnets. They are very strong. Look at that. 
So I put washi tape on mine so that I can easily get them back off because like they, I mean, they jump, they're, they're very strong. <laughs> so you put your magnets in place to hold your paper, put your stamp where you'd like it to go. And then your platform lid picks up your stamp and will hold it in place, which is great for re-inking to get that darker saturation in your ink color. Cause I always feel like that first pass, no, we need to do some more. Okay, I am going to do this though, cause I notice I'm inking my platform lid. So just go back over it here. Let's go a third time because why not? The world is our oyster. Okay, then I'm going to put on my clear embossing powder. I don't want to emboss all of this, although you totally can. So what I'm gonna do instead is take my clear embossing powder like so, and hold my paper at an angle so that it doesn't stick to anything down below. A little tap, start up my heat gun. Heat guns are always great to kind of preheat for a minute. It just embosses that much quicker if you give it a second. Move my stuff out of the way. And clear embossing powder is fun too because you really see it when it works. It turns the whole thing a different color and it's really fun. Okay, you could also heat from underneath. It will help bend your paper different ways so it doesn't just warp in one direction. And just that easy, you have an embossed sentiment. Next, I put my silver washi tape. And this is from the Tim Holtz Ideology Design Tape Washi Tape Collection. Can you see that there? There's like a silver one in there. It also has some cute little words and stuff. Great for like mixed media, junk journaling. Um, I like putting a border because my stuff tends to be always a little bit crooked. I just have a crooked hand apparently because everything that I do, I'm like, huh, is that just a little bit off? Never really sure. So it'll give you a nice fine line. I also like to add a little bit of glue. This is art glitter glue. Hey, friends of art glitter glue. I feel like my Facebook friends talk more about art glitter glue than they do their own family. It is very popular. But I like to add a little bit of adhesive there just so that I know it doesn't come back up. Washi tape is great and fun, but it doesn't have a really super strong adhesive, which is good for some projects if you wanna pick your washi tape back up or move it. But I want that to stay put. So I just put a little bit of glue, like so. And then I'm going to put that on my black mat here. Again, using some of the oh so famous art glitter glue. Art Glitter Glue is great for tiny things like rhinestones and sequins because it does have this little fine tip at the top, um, but it also works great for paper and buttons. It dries with a really strong adhesive. I think that's why people like it so much. Okay, and I'm just gonna glue this down. Now, one trick I have found that I want to share with you because this is, this is our craft space. Um, sometimes when you heat set things, it warps your paper a little bit and it'll be a little bit wiggly and wavy. Not to worry. You can, if you have a Sizzix, use your Sizzix to flatten this back out. Take your platform here, base, your first sandwich board, your project, and then you're going to want to put some kind of paper over it just so that you don't get weird creases from this top plate on top like that and then you're just gonna run it through just like this and it will flatten it right back out okay I'm gonna show you how I'll be right back voila look at that good as new now I can put this onto my card you, for this you could use our glitter glue you could use a glue gun whatever you like now again glue guns if you are like me and have a problem laying things down nice and evenly you might want to go with the art glitter glue because glue guns are great, but they are not super forgiving when it comes to placement 
and taking things back up. So you can leave it just like this. Beautiful, happy, colorful, great. But I like embellishing everything because Lord knows I've got enough stuff. So I found these cute little things here from Bow Bunny. Pearls, rhinestones, very colorful. I like those. The great thing about this too is that it does cover mistakes because if I'm going to be honest, <laughs> I make a lot of mistakes. Painted nails do this on a lot of my white paper. And then I'm like, okay, well, guess I'm going to cover that up. And I'm not going to lie. That's why one of those rhinestones is where it is because I nicked it with my fingernail and got some pink. Also on here, you'll notice a little bit of the black ink transferred. No problem. We're just going to cover it up. So that is my inside tip of the day is whatever mistakes you make, add a rhinestone. Not a big deal. No one will ever know. The person who gets this card will just look at the sparkle happiness and feel so loved and so excited about receiving this beautiful card in the mail. They're not even going to notice. <laughs> what you had to hide with all of your little rhinestones. And it just adds a little bit more character. I feel like I'm about to do it now. Man, you know what? This is why I don't paint my nails. Can I just say that? I started painting my nails because YouTube videos. And I'm like, oh, you know what? I should try. Try a little, Jen. Just try a little. See how it feels. And then look at what happens. So there you go. There's the card. Easy, right? Still fits in a standard envelope. You get to use all these beautiful colors you've just had in a box. And you could do different sentiments. Thank you, happy birthday, I love you, whatever. Let me show you now what you can win in my next contest. Cause that's, <laughs> that, that's the exciting stuff. This stuff, yeah, it's all fine and good. Where's the free stuff, right? I get it, I've been there. So for 500 subscribers, when I get to 500, I'm gonna draw a name for this awesome intro to stamping kit, which will include heat tool. Gotta have a heat tool, right? Then I found some stamps I thought you might like. Calendar making, journaling, sayings, birds, pretty butterflies, ephemera, more journaling type banners, things like that. Those are very handy. I love this Prima Princess line. If you haven't seen these, there's a bunch of different ladies with flowers and some have birds. It's really pretty. So I thought you might like that. And then more birds, seven gypsies. This is kind of like more mixed media type abstract stuff, kind of fun. And then to help get you started, I have some silver embossing powder, as well as a clear embossing dauber. These give you a little bit more versatility. Um, for instance, I have a resin video. I'll put a link to it. You can check that out in which I use this to just emboss right over my resin piece so I can put embossing powder on it. So that's kind of fun. You could even just use the dauber and make designs and emboss that way, whatever you want. So to be entered to win this awesome prize package, it's simple, subscribe, ring the bell. Join me, be part of this group. We're making stuff, it's fun. And then share this video on your Facebook page tagging two people so they could also join the party and comment just whatever comment you want to say it's fine we're all friends now tell me your problems tell me a joke it's your birthday let's celebrate whatever just leave me a comment and i'll be drawing from those comments when i select a winner at 500 subscribers so i thank you for joining me today these things like i said will all be in my description if you're interested in any of the product information check it out try it out let's make some stuff bye